So L.A. County Sheriff's Lancaster and Palmdale stations, they already have a task force that is specifically designed to combat, cat to combat catalytic converter thefts. And now just announced today, the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's uh, Station is also going to join that task force. And that was after uh, this just incredible pursuit that uh, one of their SUVs was involved in that led to a crash. Uh, and that uncovered a whole lot of stolen converters. This is the aftermath of a violent crash involving an L.A. County Sheriff's unit and a minivan it had been chasing. Vehicle parts scattered on the Santa Clarita Street, the wreckage of both cars nearby, and a collection of stolen catalytic converters being taken from the suspect's car. Authorities say the three suspects inside the van took off running after the early morning crash, but were too badly hurt to get very far. The third was eventually found hiding in a tree behind a nearby house. One deputy was taken to a hospital and later released. The discovery of stolen converters is becoming much more common. Catalytic converter thefts has become an epidemic during the pandemic. AAA's Doug Shoup explains that catalytic converters contain very precious metals like platinum, currently more valuable than gold. And so unfortunately, thieves are using something as simple as a wrench or even a hacksaw to quickly get beneath vehicles, saw off these catalytic converters, and then sell them uh, to scrap yards. And then the scrap yards will then uh, turn them into recyclers who will extract the metals from those catalytic converters. He says the pandemic likely contributed to a sharp uptick in the thefts as people struggle to get by. And when they are desperate, they are looking for crimes of opportunity. And unfortunately, thieves learned about these precious metals uh, inside of these catalytic converters, and they figured that this would be a very quick way for them to make a quick buck of course, at the expense of vehicle owners. In an effort to combat the crime, AAA and some local law enforcement agencies are offering free VIN engravings to drivers. Which would hopefully deter thieves if they see it or help law enforcement recover the parts that are stolen from your vehicle if it happens to you. And of course, nobody wants that to happen. Some other tips to avoid this happening to you. Try to park in well-lit areas like this one or a garage if you're able to. Also consider installing some sort of a security system, possibly a motion detecting security system that could be around the area where you typically park. And also think about investing in a catalytic converter shield. Reporting live, I'm Chelsea Edwards. Susan, send it back to you. All right, Chelsea, but they're so fast. That's what's so remarkable. All right. Yeah.